What's up geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today we're going to talk about does Disney slash Lucasfilm want Solo to fail because of Kathleen Kennedy's agenda? Now hear me out before we get fully into this and before I give you my answer. I think it's a valid question. I've seen this going around a lot. I've had a lot of people ask me this question and when it was first posed to me I'm like what the hell are you talking about? I mean, what are, you, what are you talking about? But then you actually hear the context to the question, and it makes a little more sense. So many people are asking, does because first of all, it's almost like Disney wants it to fail with all of the nonsense that they've been spewing for the last few weeks. Um, all of the craziness surrounding this movie, all of the production problems and clearly John Kasdan's idiotic remarks just a few days ago that has driven interest way down. But the question is posed as to, with all of those things, and the fact that Kathleen Kennedy clearly wants to move away from a straight white male in the lead position, so if this movie fails, it would give Kathleen Kennedy an opportunity to go see, see the crowd, the fans don't want a white male in the lead role anymore. We have to diversify. We have to bring everyone but a white male in the lead position. Now, again, I think it's a valid question. I do. Now, when I first heard it posed, I thought it was like, what? But then I heard the context to it. And I'm like, that's actually, that actually makes some sense to form it in that way. But in my opinion, there's absolutely no way they want this movie to fail. No way in holy hell do they want this movie to fail. If that was the case, they would not have put so many resources into the reshooting of the movie, which some reports say up to 80 or 90% of this movie was reshot by Ron Howard. So you don't bring a, a, a Ron Howard into the situation if you want something to fail. You bring him into a situation where there's a lot of you know, chaos and havoc, and Ron Howard comes in to smooth everything out and get the ship back on its path that it needed to go. So I absolutely don't think they, I don't think they want this movie to fail at all. Um, I think they want this movie to be a huge success because they want to play off of Lando in the next one. They want their, they want, they want to make a Lando spinoff movie with Donald Glover and they want to push forward this pansexual you know, sexually fluid narrative that they are trying to that John Caston alluded to that's pissed off so many people but Disney clearly wants that to happen so in order to get to that point Solo has to be a success so yes I believe 100% that they want this movie to succeed again I think those are valid questions that people have brought up and a lot of people have been bringing that up and if you look at everything that's going on and all of the craziness surrounding the movie and all the stupid comments, uh, absolutely, valid question. But for me, 100%, they want this movie to succeed because with its success, number one, it just helps their bottom line. But number two, it gives them another opportunity to build upon rewriting the history of Star Wars. They want to rewrite the history. And Solo is another step in that direction. They have already taken care of the original three and basically just pushed them off to the side and ushered in an entire new generation of Star Wars heroes and villains, whether now whether we like them or whatever, it doesn't matter. It's the fact that they did not properly transition. They didn't use the original characters properly to, to, to make us care about these new characters. They just threw the new characters at us and said, you have to care about these characters. Why? Because we said so. And if you don't, you are a racist and a sexist. And that is the end of the discussion. That is the mentality they have been operating under. And so we've seen them do it with the original trilogy uh, characters. Now they're going back in time and trying to alter some of these characters and their history and legacy. And yeah, so Solo has to be a success and they want it to be a success because it will give them even a bigger platform to continue rewriting Star Wars history and Lando will be next and they're going to, if, if Solo is a success, Lando comes out, then they can do this whole pansexual Lando nonsense and they can put a bunch of lesbian droids in there or whatever they want to do or gay men droids or tranny droids. I don't know what the hell they're going to do. Um, 
but uh, 100%, they definitely want Solo to succeed. Now, will Solo be a success? That I don't know. We're all going to be sitting and watching this weekend. I will not be at the theater. I am not going to see this movie. Um, I will be uh, making some vlogs to show you guys exactly what my plans are for Thursday and Friday, but it won't be to see Solo. Maybe I'll go see Deadpool. Maybe I'll go see the Avengers for the third time and the fourth time. Maybe I'll just hang out and watch the original trilogy, or maybe I'll just play Mario Kart and just say F Star Wars altogether because I'm almost so sick of talking about it. Um, but I don't think it's a slam dunk that Solo is not going to perform well. There's obviously, uh, it's trending down big time. But again, you have to remember, we, us, we are in a bubble of our own. So we always accuse Hollywood of being in their own Hollywood bubble. And we are in a bubble too. The geek community, the YouTube community, the social media community, we are in our own little bubble. Um, now we can try, and I do try to get as much perspective outside of my own bubble as I possibly can. And I do have a gut feeling that m the general audience isn't overly excited for Solo. But again, they don't look at things like you and me. They don't dissect all of the things that's going on. They just see a Star Wars movie and they want to go take their family to go see the Star Wars movie that's in the theaters. They're not paying attention to the details. They're not paying attention to the agendas. They're not paying attention to the problems. They don't know that Ron Howard reshot 80% of the movie or 90% of the movie. They don't know about Lord Miller. They don't know about, they probably don't even know about the Lando pansexual thing. How However, if they did hear about that, if families, this general audience start hearing about a lot of this sexual stuff that's going on and these sexual discussions, I keep scratching my nose, it keeps itching, but uh, got to get some, I got to get my fix. Uh, <laughs> but um, if, if the general audience and these families start hearing about all of this stories about pansexuals and everything, that could turn them off. But again, we just have to be aware that we are in our own bubble too. And so just because it feels like Solo is trending down, and, and it is trending down, but there's a whole wide world of general audience out there that doesn't pay attention to any of this stuff. So I do believe Solo is still poised to have a strong opening weekend. It is Memorial Day weekend. So it is going to have a strong opening weekend. I'm not ready to give you my exact, um, you know, I'm not, I'm trying to think of the, I, th I have a number in mind, so I'm trying to decide if I'm going to say it, but I, I want to give it a few more days because I want to I want to figure this out. So I'm not going to give you my exact prediction yet, but I'm pretty, I, I definitely think it's going to be over $100 million, no doubt. Now again, this is, this is a Memorial Day weekend, so it's a four-day weekend. So it's definitely, and that's how they're going to report it. They're going to report it as a four-day weekend. That's not going to be judged like Justice League or Rogue One or The Force Awakens or The Last Jedi. All those are three-day weekends. This is a four-day, and that's how it's going to be judged. So keep that in mind. So it's definitely going to be over $100 million. So either way, they're going to spin that in a positive direction no matter what. The key is they threw the 170 number out there, so... I don't know. I really don't know. We'll see. We'll see a little bit later on in the week, but I definitely will give a prediction. And, and I've said it a million times, if I'm wrong about what happens, I will admit I'm wrong. But if I'm right, I'm going to, I'm damn sure going to be waving the flag if I'm right. Um, I'll own it either way. So what do you guys think? Do you think Disney wants to see Solo fail? I don't. I think it's a valid question, but I do not 100% know. So uh, check out our for the Forces Gender Neutral t-shirts. Many of you have asked me about these hoodies. I'm working on it. This is embroidery, so this is not cheap. So the, the, the hoodie itself, for me to buy these hoodies, it's not that bad. I think these hoodies are like 25 bucks. But getting the embroidery done, that's expensive. Then you have to have the shipping all of that. So I'm trying not to have like a $60 hoodie here. I'm trying to get it down. I don't want to be selling $60 hoodies. So I'm, I'm working on it, but it, it takes time to get all of this worked out. I'm not trying to go broke, but I'm also trying to make it affordable for you guys. So check us out on Patreon. Also, that's about it. I'm kind of done plugging. If you want to subscribe to my personal channel, D-Day Cobra, you can do that. And uh, other than that, you guys have a great day and we'll talk to you later.